Welcome everyone. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And tonight I thought I would do a video to discuss world events and the effects that they can have on the U.S. market. The reality is that world events do have an effect on the U.S. market. There was an attack, a terrorist attack in Orlando, Florida, which is not that far away from where I live in New York. It's only a few hours by plane and it happened over the weekend. I've been watching the news nonstop 24 hours a day. I'm a little bit of a news junkie uh, ever since the attack. I think it is very important to be informed and intelligent about world events. If this isn't your thing or you're really busy and you don't have time to do it and you trade the market, then I think it's important that you're in a live trading room like, like mine in the room where someone will talk to you about what the overall general market is doing on that day or someone like me that is keeping up with world events because the fact is that the world is small and and it keeps getting smaller and and so what does that mean whether you live in in europe whether you live in asia whether you live in africa or whether you live in the united states of america you can trade the u.s market However, things that happen in other countries and other continents do affect the U.S. market. It affects the market when it gaps, sometimes overnight or in the pre-market in the morning or even in the live day when something happens or when a world leader speaks, which happened today. So I think that as a person that trades the markets that's involved in finance daily, you do need to consider the global level. If you are someone that trades, you have to be thoughtful about these things. I will say that the one nice thing about the strategy I trade on gaps is that I, I am in my trades and out of the trades so quickly. So I could be in a trade at 931 and out of a trade at 935, and then someone could talk at 12 o'clock noon and have a press conference. It doesn't affect anything I do at all because I'm out and have the profit in the day way before the conference happens or the news conference or the world event, which is a nice thing, you know, like many nice things about trading the golden gap strategy that I invented and teach. You know, we have to be thoughtful about what's happening in the world as traders. And if you want to keep up with it and you can keep up with it, great. If you can't, please be in a trading room that will look at the overall market for you and see things or someone that's knowledgeable about what's going on in the world, which, which I am. Because the fact is that it does sometimes play a part in whether you hold a trade to a bigger target or take a quick profit in a target or don't trade at all that day which there may be days where it's not good to trade or certain stock symbols that aren't good to trade because they're being affected by things that are happening in the world, which right now, for example, this week, SWHC, which is a, it was a gun manufacturer, Smith & Wesson, is, is having a lot of strange moves in it in the gaps this week. And it's a result of the events of the terrorist attack that happened over the weekend. Be very careful when there is volatile moves in the market or stocks. It's better off that you don't trade. And this is one of the reasons I'm saying to be aware of world events and things that are happening. I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to do good as a trader. I want that for myself as well. So good luck. Watch the news if you have it available. Watch stuff on the internet about the news on on thoughtful resources that you can find that are credible, that are going to report the news in a thoughtful, respectful manner, or be in a trading room each day where you can get more information about what's happening in the overall market. And I think it is really important to trade a strategy like the one that I do, which, which you're in and out quickly. Because the longer you're in a trade, the more you can be affected by by why world events or things that are happening. The world is just becoming a smaller and smaller place and we are all interconnected. And it, it almost doesn't even matter where you live. If you trade the US market or any market at all, we are all connected. Thanks everyone. And email me at melissa at the if you'd like more information. Have a great night.